Following a second drowning at Wall Lake, there's even more of a focus on protecting swimmers. Well, soon, anyone who doesn't have a life jacket will be able to use one for free while enjoying the lake. Kelloland News intern Carter Schmidt has an update on a program we first told you about on last week's Eye on Kelloland, along with information on how you can help. It's a scene no one wants to find at the beach. This year, it's happened at least twice at Wall Lake. It's terrible. It, it broke my heart the first time, and it, it really broke my heart the second time. So we're hoping that when this program is up, that people will be more educated on safety at the lake, that they will take to heart. If you don't swim, wear a life jacket around the water. Bunny Tempe is working with the Friends of Wall Lake Group and Minnehaha County Emergency Management to provide life jackets for anyone who needs them. We're looking at and in the process of building a life jacket station. It's a voluntary program. Uh, other places have used it. I think there's one in Yankton, there's one up at Lake Madison. It's generally for boating purposes, but this we're going to use for um, just the recreation. The Wall Lake Life Jacket Program would be free to use for anyone. They just ask that people return them when they're done. Obviously, we realize they're going to, some are going to get damaged or maybe missing, but um, you know, we we're looking for donations of life jackets. We do have plenty right now, but um, you know, in the future, we may we may need some. They hope to have the life jacket station installed as soon as possible. Clint Burry, who is out enjoying the lake, thinks the program is a great idea. People really need a life jacket, especially if you're on the boat. You know, it's required by law, so that's for one thing. But if you're a new swimmer, you know, it's nice to have a life jacket and it helps you, you know, learn how to swim. And hopefully you can progress to the point where you might not need a life jacket so you can actually save yourself, you know, in the water. The Game Fish and Parks Department has also moved the buoys into shallower water and installed rescue rings at the beach. At Wall Lake, Carter Schmidt, Kelloland News. If you want to help the Wall Lake Life Jacket Program, you can find more information with this story on Kelloland.com. In June, we told you about the life jacket loaner stations in Yankton. The stations are located along the river and serve as an easy way to make sure kids have access to life jackets. One of the stations is located at Riverside Park and another on the Nebraska side near a campground.